meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. That yeah, makes sense to me, and it looks like some great conditions for first Friday. We're going to see those temperatures dropping down into the 60s. Might even want a little light jacket by later this evening, and those skies will be clearing out. So a beautiful night on the way. Great sleeping conditions again overnight. Lows in the 50s, up to 61 at 8 o'clock with sunny skies, 72 degrees at noon, and 77 at 5 p.m. And we'll be looking for a mostly sunny day, although a few more clouds late day. Tonight, under those mostly clear skies, we'll see temperatures really drop. Head down to about 56 for us, but even some low 50s. 50s in the northwest part of the state. Could even be some spotty 40s up in northern Illinois, northern Indiana here late tonight and into tomorrow. A lot of sunshine on Saturday and then rain likely later Sunday and into Independence Day. So the uh, back half of the weekend may get a little bit more on the wet side for us. Time lapse up in Troy at the Stouter Center. You can see the fair weather clouds starting to really thin out there. Duncan Oil Company camera in Springfield also just showing some fair weather cue. And live Doppler 2 HD from Wapakoneta through Fairborn, Dayton, Xenia, Eaton looking at dry conditions tonight. The thunderstorms around this morning have moved east of the mountains and now some new storms developing along our cold front in northern Kentucky, southern Ohio, uh, West Virginia, up into western Pennsylvania. All moving east though away from us, so you're going to have to travel eastbound to get into some rain tonight. Otherwise, around our area, we're looking at dry conditions. That area of high pressure building in from the west will bring us a nice night and a lot of sunshine for the day tomorrow. After that cool night into the 50s. Highs tomorrow afternoon should be into the upper 70s to right about 80 degrees for us. We're currently at 78 degrees. A northwest wind kind of breezy, 13 miles an hour, but that'll even drop off tonight. 43 percent the relative humidity. That is quite comfortable. We didn't see a lot of rainfall today. The hoings up in Fort Lormy, about a tenth of an inch there. A Lowell Miller in Greenville, a tenth of an inch, but at least Kettering, three tenths of an inch, three tenths of an inch reported by Bob Hox in Springboro. Barbara Richards also that three tenths of an inch mark. But a nice evening now, upper 70s to right around 80 degrees across the entire Miami Valley. Our future track forecast, those skies clearing out tonight. We'll have clear conditions for the most part at 1 o'clock in the morning. Maybe a couple of high thin clouds floating around. That would be about it. Plenty of sunshine then during the day on Saturday. And then a little bit of an increase in cloud cover uh, late Saturday afternoon. Saturday evening will be back to partly cloudy skies. Sunday, the clouds starting to thicken up a bit. And then here comes some rain moving in from the west as we head towards Sunday afternoon. Our forecast tonight, mostly clear, cool. Those northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour this evening, but dropping off to 3 to 7 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, looks like a really nice day. Low humidity is mostly sunny, pleasant. Afternoon high at 78 with a light north-northeast wind. 67 at 10 o'clock, 72 at noon, and then into the mid and upper 70s tomorrow afternoon as we get back to partly cloudy skies later in the day. Your uh, forecast for the fireworks this this weekend. Well, it's looking good tonight. No problems expected whatsoever. And then Saturday night looking good as well. Rain is going to be likely for Sunday night. Monday night, maybe some leftover drizzle. The worst of the rain should be off to the east of us by evening. But you can see those highs in the 70s Sunday and Monday, up near 80 on Tuesday. And then here comes the summer weather Wednesday and Thursday. Highs upper 80s and lower into the 90s. So it is back to full fledged summer by the middle and latter part of next week. But actually, kind of a cool Fourth of July weekend. Of course, some mm -hmm. of that will be because some of that rain that will be moving in. Well, that's the thing. And you know, depending where you live, the fireworks either be tonight, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So we'll keep you posted. Yeah, and, and right now, it's definitely Friday night, Saturday night, no problems at all. All right, off to a good start.